No, I literally, I got like, I don't know, probably 15 plants that I have in my house now. I pictured every day it. I water them and I try to get them to grow. I got Venus fly traps and spider plants. All I kinds of shit. pictured you just growing pot. Yep. That's where no, my with, mind went. With my mind was like, like an asshole. And, yep. Like that's, that's exactly what I thought when you said horticulture. Now, if I can kill all these other bullshit plants, I'm not even going to start that. So let me <laughs> fucking go on my journey. Okay. <laughs> in a world, four friends, one mission to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Doing a thing for the podcast. Dude, just say the name. <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Fuck boys? Fuck boys. So that was like the 18th time the Mikey got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't normally know about this, but he likes to send us stories and links about how this thing's happened. So, you know. Somehow he keeps making the news. With his crabs? Yes. Wow. Oh, good job, buddy. Well, fuck boys. I mean, we're in a semicircle. There's sticks in our hands, drinks in front of us. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. What are we about to do, John? We're about to masturbate, boys. Oh, yes. <laughs> Should we pay the bills first? What? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I suppose. Right now. Brought to you by right. warfightertobacco.com. If you use that code, what is it? FTFO. FTFO. FTFO, you get 15% off, 10% off, 5%. We charge you 10% extra. It depends who it is. Oh, yes. okay, gotcha. If for most people, it's 15% off. But for a few of you fucks, if you put that code in, you're getting charged more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to wipe my dick on it. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not here for any of that. <laughs> yeah. I, might I have my, nothing I, to do with this company I, I smoke it, I give them a hard time That is as close as I get to being involved with Warfighter I appreciate it when you give me a hard time Yeah <laughs> uh, But if you head over to uh, owellness.us And use the code FREEDOMFRIENDS25 Over there you get a quarter off your order mm. So uh, you can take all of his uh, Delicious stuff and rub it on your body Yes And it'll uh, make you feel good Yes. And slightly sticky For a moment or two Yeah uh, and then you can go over to Icy Tech Coolers and you can use some fucking code over there and get 10% off. That would be Icy, uh, Freedom Friends 10. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You get 10% off over there. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Bills are paid. Yeah. All we're right. supposed to talk about something. Let's, get, let's, let's get back yeah. to the shit show that is the master debate. All right, boys. All, All right, right, boys. Do we, do we have a yeah. debate topic? If you come up with one, we'll do it right now. What about the peanut gallery? You got a debate topic? We have a fan in the audience that actually decided to take their vacation to come down to the show. So two, two fans. Two fans. Well, one hobby. One hobby for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. Depends on the definition of hobby. Fuck, I don't know. I've had some hobbies I've had for the bulk of my life already. So, Are cigars a hobby? Sure. No, it's a, I'm, I'm a professional. I get paid yeah. to do this. Not so the hobby. definition of a, a hobby is an activity done regular, regularly in one's leisure time for pleasure. <laughs> so, yes, I would absolutely masturbate for the rest of my life. Or it's a small horse or pony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never been to horse. <laughs> so you're going to do one hobby for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hobby look like? <laughs> the smaller the horse, the better. Now I know why Jim got a horse. <laughs> God damn it. What <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't even know. I guess technically, technically, I think his Julie, wife got a horse. Julie so. got the horse. I but <laughs> none of the, the horse is not small. So it doesn't count. I, I Neither do, are Jim or Julie. <laughs> I do not know what I would pick for a hobby. Probably cigars, if it was if that would fall in the definition. I think it falls in the definition. You do it in your free time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's an activity. Well, smoking is first. Yeah. On, it, it, on an actual, I'd travel. Like if it was the whole, like I could just do it for the rest of my life. It was only the one hobby that I could do. And it was, and obviously all of these theoreticals are like, the only thing, I have the money to do it or whatever. The only thing you would spend money on is that, would that be a definition? Yeah. If hobby? I had to cut it all the way down to one and I was going to have, cause I've got way too many hobbies. It'd be travel. I'd go travel and it's, it's because I, I thoroughly enjoy it, whether I'm going to a, a third world shithole country or, you know, some, I just like the experience of going and seeing something that's outside of my norm. Yeah. It'd probably be travel. I just like it. 
because we've all done it. We've been some of the worst places on earth. Some of the places that I've had the best time at were so absolute shitholes. A lot of the cigar producing countries are horrible countries, but I've had amazing trips doing them. Um, a lot of the places in Africa I've gone were awesome. I mean, there's, yeah, probably travel. If I had oh, to just pick one hobby, it'd probably be traveling. I like travel. I don't know. I Look, I love cigars and I've got a big collection and they've been a part of my life for a very long time. But if I had to cut everything out and could only do one thing, it'd probably be travel. But you could. So if you're traveling to smoke cigars, is that a loophole? Well, that's like saying that my favorite thing about travel is the food. But I wouldn't say that eating is my hobby. Well, if eating falls into a hobby, then I'm going to eat the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that falls into that whole foodie thing, right? It's like, yeah. I just go around and I experience, I eat all this weird shit. Like, some of the shit I just don't understand. It's like, well, but I, I had goat eyeballs. It's like, why? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, if I had to, I could give up guns and shooting because I pretty much have. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I, lo I love doing it. You do have a lot of really pretty paperweights at this point. I do. I do. Yeah. Like it's uh I could sell them and finance a whole nother <clears throat> hobby. <laughs> like a really nice boat. But you can't to. sell your next hobby to finance the next one. What, what? the Baja thing? No. <laughs> Is that still happening, by the way? I don't know. There, I, there's I hit the pause button. There's certain hobbies where the things you have to get for it actually hold value. Yeah. True. And I feel that guns, higher end guns, hold value better than other things like oh, i'm gonna sell my guns and i'm gonna get into fucking badminton right like what are you gonna it's like four dollars to play badminton well it depends on what the the, the, the you got a high point center i don't know about <laughs> <laughs> no no. <laughs> no we shot those already yeah yeah so i don't know travel i guess i kind of do want to get a yeet cannon i don't know what I really do for a hobby right now. What do I do for a hobby? I don't know if I have a hobby. I have seasonal hobbies. I've yeah, I have occasional hobbies. Yeah. We're about to get into a hobby. Yeah. We're about to take up archery. We're waiting yeah. for our bows to come. That'll in. be a daily hobby. Oh, you finally fell down that hole, huh? Yeah. We fell down that a while ago. It's just taking that long to get all the shit in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess a lot of people have fell down that hole too. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that might be a hobby I would stick with. I don't know. I don't know because I haven't done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's cool as shit. I've just avoided it like the plague because I know exactly how it would go. It's it's I have too till now. I have told John this. I've told everybody this. Like, why don't you get into archery? Because I don't need another fucking hobby, is what I've always said. And now I'm to the point where like I don't okay, I, I'll I, I feel like archery isn't so much a hobby as it is a, a discipline. Like yeah. there's people that classify martial arts as a discipline right. and not a hobby. Because it's not like, yes, you do get enjoyment out of it, but you're doing it for so much more than just, oh, I'm going to make this arrow hit that thing. Like, I'm going to I'm going to gain the ability to control myself to the point where I can do this repetitively. Where you can repetitively make an arrow hit that thing. Not so much just hitting that thing, but it's going through the, all the motions that, that you have to go through in order to, to repeat that shot identically. That's why I say it's more of a discipline than it is I a feel hobby. like when I hear the word hobby, I think of like putting models together, flying RC airplanes. Oh, I know. I sell like, hobbies for a living. No, no, but, but, I, like, I, I, yeah. but like underwater like, basket weaving. But uh, as far as what I think a hobby is, I really don't have one. So, like, I, yeah, own, I don't think anybody classifies martial arts as a hobby. I own either. a motorcycle, I don't really use it. <laughs> I have guns, I don't really use them. Yeah. Like, I, my hobby. Is probably smoking cigars, drinking, drinking. Yeah, I don't. It would, I guess it's weird, but I I need a hobby. Yeah. I probably at this point need a hobby. So I read this thing that every man should have at least three hobbies. Yeah, oh, I got that nailed. But like like <laughs> three that they're heavily committed in. Not like uh, still good. I do this. I do that. Like like you were just saying. Oh, I have a motorcycle. Yeah, but if, if it's not a regular thing, I don't think that's considered a hobby. I would like to get into the paragliding. Yeah. I would like to do that. But like, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, but like, yeah, that that would, there's that a would, lot of stuff that I think like that is awesome. That would be me spending money 
on just me. So for instance, and that's hard to do. Mikey in skydiving. Skydiving is Mikey's hobby. Yeah. For now. Yeah. For right now. Right. For but me. he's but he's committed yeah. and he does it on yeah. a regular enough basis where that could be considered a hobby of his. I'm gonna agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have several hobbies, but <clears throat> I've also I, been doing them for like my gaming hobby I've been in for 30 years. Yeah. Like that's not a new you, thing. You've in my probably life. hit the pause button at some point. No. Like for shooting, like I've obviously I've hit the pause right. button. Like I just you know, yeah, but I, I think I think your pause button is more so, life directed as yeah. opposed to it's not to, just that there's certain things like like shooting as a hobby, right? It, there's a lot of caveats that come with that. Like you can be an avid shooter. When when but sh it's not like you can like just get off work and go home and indulge in your hobby. Like you have to go somewhere else. When you have shooting to, like, when shooting was my hobby, it was for work. Whether I was a sniper. I shot every weekend. I owned a gun business. Yeah. And I owned a manufacturing or I owned part of a manufacturing business where shooting and going and shooting in competitions was part of my business. Once it was no longer my business, it's really hard to me for me to spend the money. Well, and that's what's hard about classifying for, for, it for no outcome. And that's what's yeah. hard about classifying it as a hobby is right. it's not like. It's not well, like you can just go home and indulge in your hobby. Like that takes like you need a range so, and you need yeah. all in of this regards, other stuff. In regards to exactly what you just said, shooting for you has never been a hobby. It's, it's either a, been a job yeah. or uh, an aspect of business. So always a job. Maybe, but I, I've thoroughly enjoyed a lot of aspects. And, of and that's totally fine. <clears throat> but in order for it to be a hobby, there essentially there's no, uh, besides personal pleasure right there isn't like a like okay so for instance shooting in matches right was right. one of the main reasons that was happening was because it was promotion of the right long range action yeah right once everything you know ended with that the the hobby side the shooting side of things stopped because it was just Based on that, yeah. Now, if it was a hobby, you would still make the commitment, the monetary commitment, to be able to do the matches right. and shoot and do all the stuff just for personal pleasure, right? But when it wasn't required anymore, so I think my only hobby is archery, and I haven't even started it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't even fucking shot an arrow yet. So yeah, it's weird. But yeah, I, I picked up a hobby over the past couple of months, and it's uh, horticulture. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't even want to know. The plants. I know uh -huh. what it is. That's it. No, I literally, I got like, I don't know, probably 15 plants that I have in my house now. I picture every day I water them and I try to get them to grow. I got Venus fly traps and spider plants. All kinds I of shit. pictured you just growing pots. Yep. That's where no, my mind went. With my mind was like, like an asshole. And yep. Like that's, that's exactly what I thought when you said horticulture. Now, if I can kill all these other bullshit plants, I'm not even going to start that. So let me <laughs> fucking go on my journey. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I, I started know. horticulture, it would also be for a business. <laughs> so this is my thing. Uh, like, maybe I'm <laughs> ramping up for when it's legal. You never know. <laughs> it's like, like I play golf. I would not call golf a hobby because I can't just go and indulge in my hobby. I have to like, I have to go somewhere else. I have to spend the money to get access to the place to golf be able to totally do it. Totally be a hobby. Golf but, is a hobby but for ninety nine point nine percent of the people. But not that play if you golf. do it once or twice a year, like I do. Like the that's point one percent that get paid to do it. It's not a hobby for them. Everybody else, it's a hobby. I don't no, know. It's a. It's not a hobby for me. I do it once or twice a year. It's not a hobby. No, but if you did it on a weekly basis, yeah, 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 yeah. that would be a hobby. Yes, you're not. You know, you're only doing it for personal pleasure. I, I pleasure. agree. You're not getting paid to do it, right? I guess, but I mean, I guess by that by that technicality, this show is a hobby. Yeah, we don't get paid to do it, so absolutely. that's just because we haven't really figured out. The <laughs> <laughs> I podcast for a fucking hobby. There you go. Look at that. We all have a hobby. Yeah. I didn't even fucking know. Right? You got another one. That's great. Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> y'all already covered mine. So yeah, I have hobbies. Dave buys guns for a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Trades them out. A lot. Very, very rapidly. Yeah. 
I used to do that. It used to be a hobby. Yeah. Then I turned it into a business. Now I don't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Should have kept it as a hobby. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I I'd, I'd shoot. Because I do I do thoroughly enjoy shooting. Oh, I do too. I, I, I really like that is it, it I'd actually it'd be tough for me to decide which one of the two. Like I I really enjoy riding. Um so it's a toss up between riding the bike or shooting. Yeah. I have a caveat mm-hmm. question. If you take a hobby and make it a business, does it ruin the hobby? Absolutely, yes. yes. One hundred percent. No question about it. Fair enough. The only thing I can smoke a cigar and thoroughly enjoy it, even though it's my business, that I don't think will ever get ruined. No. But I literally went from like shooting was my hobby. Yeah. And mm-hmm. o- owning a gun store totally fucked that. Yeah. Like there, I, there was a time. When I totally did not enjoy going to the range at all, yeah. uh, because I because of the business aspect, of right? It. Um, I like to shoot now, but not enough to like go out on a Saturday and spend the money and time to do it. Yeah, like so, it, like I think yes. I still, Tur- I still turning remember, it into a business ruined my hobby. I still remember a conversation you and I had shortly after you let go of the before or shortly after you sold Silencer HQ. And it was, it went something along the lines of, I am so very happy that I can get off work and talk about guns and not having had to talk about guns all day long. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. But like, I almost don't enjoy talking about guns anymore because yeah. I did it for 10 years. Yeah. Every day for 10 years. So it's like, for me, if you get a gun conversation out of me, it's hard to do, but, but it, if you get one out of me, it's because I'm, I want to do it. Yeah. It's point. usually because of somebody that's knowledgeable. Yes. Yeah. It, the conversations that I can have where I learn something yeah. are the ones I want to have. Yeah. If, if I'm trying to like, if I'm having a conversation and I'm trying to like teach somebody, like I don't enjoy those anymore. <laughs> I, 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 before you got to the river over the weekend i was talking to this dude and he was talking telling me about his first pistol he just bought yeah and it was a uh, glock 357 sig and it's because his cop buddy said that blah 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 blah, right. blah. and i'm like dude <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> and he just kept going and i'm like stop like it doesn't matter shot placement yeah 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 so a hob yeah yeah turning was- a hobby into a business will probably ruin the hobby Oh, there's no probably about it. It will ruin that hobby. Except for cigars. Like, yeah, I enjoy cigars. I I feel like there's. I don't think it's a a blanket across the board. I agree. Because, like, I don't think Jazz is going to get burnt out because he's. He might get burnt out of the business side of things, but I still think he's going to enjoy the actual, like, the product playing side of things. I agree with that because I'm in the same boat of like, like, I've been do I've been working with a camera to make my living for the last four years. Right. But I still take my camera with me when I go to family events yeah. or just go out on date night with my girlfriend or whatever. And That's I still, I, I mean, it's fun to look at later, but like, but I, <laughs> I, was, I was picking over your throwing down, but like, I still enjoy like going out and taking photos just for the fuck of it. Like right. it's, yeah. it's still fun yeah. or like shooting a little video or something. I, I still enjoy that. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's like John saying, it's the different mindset of it where it's like, all right, this is so I can make a living. This is just so, so I can have okay, fun. Okay, so I just had, when you said that, this just came to me. And I, I think it's because you're creating something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, all of fair. all of the businesses that I've had, the most enjoyment I've had is when I've created something. Right. Whether it's manufacturing, doing the Cerakote, yeah. uh, anything where I can create something, I really enjoy that outside of creating something it's hard to you know when yeah. like selling suppressors it was so repetitive well, that that it's, is just, it's retail it, yeah and retail is just yeah. like the demise yeah. of fucking yeah yeah i think i think the creative yeah. thing you know i'm i'm with you on that and that's one of the reasons that i think i liked and i i enjoyed doing the cerakote so much right was because you were taking something basically raw and yeah. you were turning it into something custom. Like, it, unless it was just a single color that I was spraying, every single one of those was, you 
it was it was unable to be duplicated. Yeah, one off. So, yeah. And I think it's yeah. the same thing, even like with me and now in the retail side of hobby gaming. It, I'm with you. The exciting thing and why it hasn't gotten repetitive is that everybody that comes in and maybe they're buying the same product over and over and over again. Everybody has because it has that modeling and creation side to it. Every single person that walks in there and brings in, sure, it may have been the same kit when it started. By yeah. the time they come yeah. into play or they want to tell me about it, everybody has their own inspiration and their own story okay. for why they're doing it. They like, their own unique they, piece it's, to there's, it. So every single piece is unique. And then even the gameplay itself plays out a different way because of the people right. that are behind it and stuff. Yeah. So every one of those figurines started out as a little gray hunk of plastic, but every single person that painted it, it's all, all individual. Painted it yeah. Differently. And so. Um, even on the RPG side or the card game side or any of that stuff, it's always dynamic and people have their own personality in it. And so it starts as the same base product, right? It's the people that get injected. And that's why, you know, my first hire that I did and the way we've pitched the store for new people that came in is we built a community first and I love being part of the community. We're back supported by the retail side, but our priority is the community piece. And I think that's what attracts any of us to do it for a living. Like, you really enjoyed shooting and you enjoyed the technicality of it and the long range shooting community and the precision shooting community. And you turned it into a business, the business part, because it, like you were saying, the selling suppressors was just the, yes, fill out this form and we'll wait this long and then you can come get it. And but it was, it was, that sucked. It was fun when we made our own suppressor, but then when it started, right. right? When it turned into your own design and when it turned into the Serica, when all of a sudden it became, you were able to leave an impression on the hobby. Right. That's what gave it value. And that's what's uh, what's got me so excited about this and why I have other plans and stuff. And what we want to do is that it's it's continuing to build that customization and leaving my impression on this hobby. Right. And that's the goal is yeah. to leave that impression, not how many of these boxes can I sell? It's what kind of impression can I leave? And especially when I get new people that are coming into the hobby, the ones that Honestly, a lot of the same answers I've gotten from you guys. There's no fucking way I'm doing that. Da, 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 da. And then yeah. we get somebody to try it for the first time and then they go, all right, fuck, I get it. All right, like, let's do yeah. this. And then they bring their personality to it and they want to be part of it. And it's it's that community build piece. That's what actually keeps me. Yeah. That's why well, and you get like to, I'm working 95 hours a week right now and it doesn't bug me as because a, I'm seeing the impression that it's leaving as we're going along. Well, and as a, as a retail store owner and operator you get the opportunity to kind of feed off of that newcomer enthusiasm too you get the you get the people that are like you know i was on the fence about this but this is actually kind of fucking cool i can kind of see what i can start playing Plus, they want to play me and i'm bad but they're brand new so then i just get to actually demolish them when they're on the table and that gives me a sense of (laughs) (laughs) well it it gives them incentive to get better too yeah and so and it's that's like you know like i owned a gun store that specialized in nfa stuff and when i could let somebody shoot a machine gun for the first time i thoroughly enjoyed that yeah. oh yeah you know like uh, like we went to um the the shooting grand island uh the zombies in the heartland yep, or whatever the hornady shoot yeah and uh there was like an eight-year-old girl that shot my 1919 uh at that event and like that's one of the things that i'll never forget like you're okay yeah. with women having guns your boy yeah. shooting that fucking It was BAR. his gun. He just let him shoot oh. it. Austin shooting the BAR. Right. Yeah. 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 Like all that kind like, of stuff. Yep. Like that was fun. You know? Yeah. My favorite uh, story right now is actually we've got, he's like, I think he's 74 and he came in, he's going through chemo right now. And uh, so he doesn't have a lot of energy and stuff like that, but he's like, he's one of the co-captains of his motorcycle club and like all this kind of stuff, but he's not able to ride. So he's been road captaining. So he's like, just kind of got in right. the truck to make sure that everything's okay. And, but he was in this hobby like 30 years ago and now he's back and he's like, you know, the problem I'm having is that nobody wants to play with an old man. And, uh, and we're like, not in here, but seeing this dude, like get excited about something again, because we were able to provide him an opportunity to get back into something that he liked. Yeah. That's awesome. And to be honest with you, when I have conversations with this dude, we never talk about the hobby side. We're always talking about like what ride he just went on or, his job that he just that he retired from or how long he's been with his wife or his motorcycle yeah, that, or his that's whatever. also one of the benefits of the dynamic and the community that you have is yeah. just just like going to a cigar lounge not being recognized as an owner or a rep 
you get to have conversations with people that you would probably never have. And yeah. that's why actually, and it's, and it's done say, over a shared activity. And I would agree that cigars are a hobby only in, do I have a big cigar collection? Yes. You guys have a big cigar. So like we all have a lot of cigars in a box at home doing whatever it does. But I've I said have for like, like 10 that are like, <laughs> safe, like I won't smoke outside of that 10. I'll smoke anything. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't say any of them I wasn't going to smoke. I hesitate to call mine a collection because that makes it sound like I'm not going to smoke every fucking right. one of them at some point. But I have cigars in waiting yeah. and that's about it. But I've said it for a long time that cigars are the great equalizer. Yeah. And I think any good hobby is that's what it should do is that hobby should equalize the playing field. It shouldn't matter what your background is, how much money you make, what you do for a living, whatever the fuck. For some reason, things like cigars and gaming and all that kind of stuff because we can find that common ground, all of a sudden everything else gets deleted. And I think that's my favorite part about any hobby Yeah, is that common ground piece that ends up coming in because it doesn't matter how like in my store or in a cigar shop or any of that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter how good or bad you are. Like none of that matters. The fact that we have this shared passion all of a sudden unlocks all of this stuff that wasn't there before. And that's what I, for me in hobbying, that's what I like. And I've stayed in the gaming hobby for so long because it's constantly transitioning, but there is a, there is a space for self-improvement, but it has also just been a, I've met some of the best people and some of my best friends in world in the world at a game table with somebody right. because it equalized everything. It got rid of age. It got rid of money. It got rid of everything because yeah. we both shared this thing. And that's what I think I like most about just hobbies in general and why I've been in gaming for so damn long. So Justin, yeah. yes, we would all fuck our doppelgangers. Oh, yeah, I, sure. I, I, I have a note to just cut the whole front end off. Oh, okay. the, sec <laughs> the second half was way better. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm just going to leave uh, that in there. Just I would like wonder. you to leave in there that I would fuck John's doppelganger. <laughs> That's it's right there. But yeah, okay. not, but not John. Sure. Not this John. Just John's doppelganger because I want this John to film it. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> God damn. Like, <laughs> somebody's got to run the camera. The other guy. Or is it too personal? It's, it, yeah, it's too close. Oh. Uh. Because when we kill that guy, we need you around. <laughs> <laughs> would you murder would, your doppelganger? That would just make John stronger. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. We could circle back to Jet Li in the one. Mm. <laughs> but you have to eat him. What happens if you fire a bullet through a wormhole? Or through a black hole? Does it go like... Way faster than nope. the speed of light? Because of the actual, because there's a speed limit. <laughs> I'm looking to a sign. <laughs> there's fucking there's a there's a intergalactic cops. Slow down! <laughs> <laughs> no, the speed of light is the speed limit. You can go faster than that. Which actually now is in debate because we have an ever expanding universe. So if light is traveling at the fastest it can go, but the universe is expanding, the universe is expanding faster than the travel of light. So that means well, the universe expansion how, is actually do, faster than the speed of light. How do but they that know that, into like how do they know that that dark doesn't travel faster than light? But how do light is part just of the visible. study of dark matter. How do we know the universe is expanding? We can actually see it in our own universe, in our own like in our own planetary system that the universe is actually expanding. Uh oh, boys, we're getting back to physics. Let's sign it off. Yeah, <laughs> I say I say we wrap this up. Let's uh, let's pay the bills. Yeah. Uh, so brought to you by warfightertobacco.com. Use that code FTFO. Get yourself fifteen percent off your order. If you're a dick, I'm going to charge you more. Uh, <laughs> oh, wellness.us. Freedom Friends twenty five gets a quarter off your order there. And Icy Tech Coolers. Freedom Friends ten gets you ten percent off there. Uh, I'm and not a astrophysicist, but I have a theory that light bulbs don't actually produce light; they just suck dark. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I've known a couple of chicks like that. <laughs> you can find those on xnxx.com. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to raise my glass. <laughs> Say thanks for being my freedom friends. Oh. And uh, there's three little things to live by. Uh, Johnny boy, what's the first one? Smoke on. Scotty? Drink on. And God damn it, boys. Freedom, freedom the, the fuck, fuck on. on. There it is. Go find yourself a black hole. <laughs> 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 <laughs>